Hi, welcome to the Industrial Automation Control Training Room. This time, I will introduce the related instructions of our new configuration software, Kinko Detox Pro. In our first section, let's talk about the basic configuration process. The first step is to create a new project. Then, select the model of HMI. And there will be settings of IP addresses, gateways, subnet mask, and other related information. And then you need to choose the driver protocol. If using tag driven, you also need to import the tags in advance. And after our overall communication connection is established, I will demonstrate placing a component on the top of the window. So let's start the demo. First, click to open the software. This is the screen after the software is opened. And before the new project is built, you can see there is a style selection. There are three styles available here, black, blue, and green. This style refers to the overall design of the project we have created. For example, the pop-up window of the system includes the keyboard window and the style of the user settings window that comes with the system. This can be selected based on personal preferences and project needs. Let's take the default black color as an example. Click on new project. And this box is for you to input the name of the project, which supports the uppercase and the lowercase Chinese and English. And after the input is completed, click OK. So now let's input simple project and then click OK. Then you can see a screen for hardware selection. At present, the hardware models supported by the software are mainly the Future 1 and Future 2 generation, and two specific models of second generation of Green series with 15.6 inch single network port and double network port. When switching models, you can see that the corresponding product property have also changed. So here, we can see our detailed hardware parameters including resolution, memory size, serial ports, and network ports. Although our software supports these models, we will also open up more and more models in the future. So how do we quickly find the HMI we often use among the numerous touchscreen models? You need to use the HMI manage function. For example, I am using the F104E Pro model here. We click on Add and then click OK to confirm. Then you can see that when we select the hardware model, we can quickly locate the F104E Pro model. Similarly, we will be able to quickly find this model for our later projects in future. Now, I will just take this model as an example for our sample project. Click Next to enter HMI settings. This page is for settings of IP address, subnet mask, and gateways. We can also set the serial ports here, which is used to establish communication protocols. For example, we can connect the serial port 0 for communication, and then click to connect the device. H HMI will be the master. Then, if you want to choose a protocol, you should first choose a company like Kinko, Mitsubishi, Motorbus, and Omron are already open. For example, we can choose Motorbus and select the protocol again. Then you can see the relevant settings of communication parameters and their supporting devices below. Like the controller settings and station numbers can also be found here. Our example project will take Auburn's tag protocol as an example to demonstrate. Next, click Network Port, and then click Add. In the Company section, we select Omra, and we select the tag protocol. Now, we will have an operation to import the tags. Click Import to open the file. Then, find Omra tag and click open and click import to import all the variables from here you can see all the variables in the file have been identified 
and you can see the number of successfully imported tags and error number. If we no longer use these imported variables, we can uncheck these checked boxes. There is also a comment at the bottom of the tag editor that the encoding format of the imported file must be ANSI. This is a thing we need to pay attention to. The relevant matters that need to be noted for protocols, such as codices and sequence, can be found in the communication menu. Let's click OK. We can see the tag variable has been successfully imported. Then click OK again. Our communication protocol has already been established. Actually, the next step is to choose the USB driver protocol. However, due to the fact that our USB driver protocol is not yet open, so there is no relevant content that can be set here. Then click OK. The entire process of our new construction project has already been completed. We have now arrived at an interface in the configuration window. If you need to modify the previously set content, such as the IP address of the touchscreen or the driver protocol, you can find the corresponding location in the left project bar to make the modifications. For example, for our communication connection, we can find the Omron tag protocol we added earlier. So we can see the Omron's network segment is 192.168.250. And the touch screen needs to be consistent with it. That is on the same network segment. So we have to change the IP address of the touch screen to a network segment of 250. Also, if you need to add other serial port protocols, you just find the corresponding serial port in this communication connection section and choose the protocol that you want. Now the entire process of establishing our communication has been completed. Next, I'm going to demonstrate how to place a component on the top of a window. The window bar is on the right side. The system defaults to having a basic window, which you can use directly. And the rest are user-related settings or system windows. So you can just directly place a bit set component on the basic window. So we choose the bit set component. And here is the location of the input variable. And we click on it. The external variable here has already been identified. But due to the fact that the tags we previously imported are all word variables. So there is no way we can directly choose from here. Let's create another memory variable because the software currently uses this tag variable format. We can name it ourselves. Let's name it example bit variable. It is also automatically assigned an address by default. Of course, we can uncheck it and manually enter MB100 for it here. Click OK that we have already set this function. For the other properties, we can use the default lamp set, label, and graphics. Click OK. We can see our component has been completed, has been placed. Let's summarize the entire process of our configuration process again. First, create a new project. There is one thing to pay attention to. That's the name of the project. It supports Chinese and English, uppercase and lowercase. The Chinese format of numbers, letters, and punctuation. Then choose the HMI model. There is an HMI management function, which we can, which can help us quickly find the commonly used hardware models. Next step is to choose the protocol. If it is tag driven, we need to pay attention to its file format type. For example, Siemens requires AP format. Omron is in TXT format, 
codices is in XML format. The requirements for communication protocols can be found in the communication menu. And then I also demonstrated how to place a component on a basic window. After our configurations are completed, there needs to be an offline operation. Let's click the offline button on the project bar. And it begins to compile. After the compilation is completed, this window will pop up and we click OK. Now that is what we ended up with the offline. That's all we need to talk about today. See you next time.